that was one of our most defining things was we were willing to adapt, change, and move on. We always, one thing was this, yeah, we did take breaks, but we got, we came back, came back even stronger, mm-hmm. and we kept on pushing, kept on rising. We made it to 50. Like that. Like that. Like that. <laughs> Clip that, baby. Clip that. <laughs> Clip that. <laughs> Yo, the lights are going insane. Hey, 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 say what, say what, hey, 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 we here. Who didn't Big think we'd 50. make it? Didn't think we'd make it. Actually, yeah, maybe we did think we'd make it. We made it. We made it, baby. We're peaking. <laughs> We're peaking. We make it. Okay. Welcome back to Two Fries Podcast, where we document the rise and stardom of Winnipeg's talent and personalities. Actually, no, scratch that. Welcome back to the number one podcast in Winnipeg. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Is that weird? Should we say that? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Do it, do Should it, do we it. Say that? Uh, I like it. It is what it is. You know, maybe after this point, we might be. You know, I could do all the call to actions, but everybody already knows, like, like, comment, subscribe. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you dislike it, hit the button twice. It helps us really get us, you know, tells us that you dislike the video if you hit the dislike button twice. All you, everybody knows already, you know, we've been doing this for 50 episodes, right? Go to our social media to watch clips. UMFM radio every Tuesday morning, 1130. Like, we've been here. You, you know the deal by we've now. We've been here. Yeah. We've done this, you know? Yeah. So I, th- I think they know what to do now. Yeah. So. Right. We're here for our 50th episode. Yeah. Uh, big, um, big 50. Any initial thoughts? We made it. Like, honestly, the road felt like it was never going to get there. At points, it did. <laughs> and we'll get into that, right? That's what the episode's here for. But... Yeah, I am super proud of us for making it to 50 because, you know, it's a big milestone for us, at least mm-hmm. going in a year and a half. Um, and I'm just super proud of the team that we built. And I'm excited for what episode <laughs> 100 has for us, you know? Matt, any initial thoughts for 50? Uh, I'm just excited to see what you put together because, yeah, no one has seen yeah. any of this episode yeah. yet today except for Robin, who yes. put the slideshow mm-hmm. together. So, so I'm really excited to see what he has in there. Yeah, so a little context about what you guys are going to see today. Uh, we usually talk amongst each other, but I think today we're going to talk mainly to camera. And by you guys, I mean I'm looking at a bunch of cameras. But <laughs> <laughs> the people on the internet. So one thing I think we started off is we never said our names. No, nope. Nobody knows who we really are. And I think this is our, and as you probably t- can tell by the title, this is our story. And yep. we're going to tell our story. So I, last night and a couple of weeks, uh, throughout the week, gathered all the footage I could find of all of us from the beginning to now and our journey. So nobody on the team has seen this, not even, you know, the camera people or retic. So we're going to react to it live and, or they are at least. And yep. then we're going to, we're just going to talk about our journey. So let's just start it off. How did we start? I'll let you start. Um, uh, Cause we get this question a lot. Yeah. Yeah. We do get this question a lot. Um, honestly, two for eyes. Um, the idea came about, I want to say our second year of university, but prior to university, um, we've been doing events. Me, Robin, Rithik, we all went to the same high school. Um, shout out Dakota Collegiate. Um, from there, we've been working on events. We, t- from, I want to say Lancer Palooza to yeah. um, Just pretty like much everything. Pretty much everything in high school we did in grade 12. And then we came into first year of university, you know, we realized that 30,000 kids, you got to stand out somehow. Yeah. Um, whether that was doing something ordinary, um, going to random people, doing prank calls. <laughs> um, I don't know if you remember that. <laughs> I do, I do. Um, but yeah, like something to make ourselves different from the rest. And then we, one day me and Robin are th- scrolling around in uh, university center. We passed by a little little concession not a stand it was like a not a concession stand but like just a table that said umfm mm-hmm. and i believe it was cheryl yeah um and i can't remember the second I name did. that was sitting there mm-hmm. um and we walked up to them and we're they well, they actually said hey would you like to volunteer and me and robin mm-hmm. looked at each other and we're like what is this for so being the interesting guys we are we just start randomly talking to random people you know casually do that um and we got to like witness that this was a volunteer opportunity for us to 
um, joined the UMFM radio station. Um, and honestly, we've been talking about doing a little podcast thing. And this was, it's kind of like the world telling us like, do it, go you know, it. go for it. Um, like we talked about manifest it, let's do it. Yeah. And that's where it started. That's where honestly, how we started, we just walked into university center and the opportunity presented itself. And then from there, the idea of two for eyes came about, um, just putting Winnipeg talent on the map. Mm -hmm. Um, it was a platform for everyone to showcase their talent and, I'm sure you guys can speak on that a little I bit mean, more. We walked in, right? And yeah. Cheryl was like, uh, we saw it. We were like, okay, let's do something. You, yeah. were, you weren't on a, you weren't there, but me and Arshdeep were there and we saw <laughs> it. And she was like, we we're like, hey, we want to do a podcast or something. Like yeah. just the idea of being on a radio is like, you know, it's cool. You yeah. know, like you're, you're second, first year, second year university kid. And you're like, you're on the radio and yeah. Like, making it on a radio and like the music industry is huge so we're like hey we get to be on a radio we didn't know much about campus radio or anything at all we heard it but we didn't know and cheryl goes uh what do you want your podcast to be about yeah we, <laughs> we said everything like <laughs> absolutely everything and they looked at us and they were like this is not gonna this is not gonna make it to the show <laughs> like i don't think like i ideally we had a concept in our brain of what we mind. wanted the podcast to be had we developed the thought, <laughs> nothing. We literally said, like, we pitched our we pitched our show right by there. saying on the there's a, there was a little form that we had to fill out, and it was like, what is your show about? We literally wrote everything. <laughs> I mean, it was more structured, but the <laughs> the basic idea was <laughs> everything. <laughs> and not like, they've seen that right yeah. like, throughout our fiftieth episode. We've had wide range of guests, right, from artists to business people to your regular mm -hmm. Joe, who's got a yeah. crazy story or information. So now, Matt, how did you get involved? Because I'm sure you probably got that question a lot. How did you get started? Yeah, well, we had, I don't know, a ton of science classes together, yeah. hey? So, um, yeah, I remember just going to class one day, and then you seemed pretty excited about something. And then uh, you were like, hey, like, do you want to join a podcast? Like, we're, we're starting this up. And I was like, uh, yeah, like, I know nothing about it, but <laughs> count me in. Yeah, yeah. Me, me and Matt had a whole bunch of classes, and I, you know, we sat together, and you know, I was like, he's a charismatic dude. This guy's funny. He's got comedic time, and I'm like, we need, and we always like, you know, we watch like other people as well, like Joe Rogan, Logan Paul, and like some other influences. And we're like, yo, they have three co-hosts, and we're like, we need a third person. Yeah, <laughs> and so it just happened to be we got Rita behind a camera, and now his brother Taryn as well. But you know, we've been friends, so we'll, we'll this this we could talk about this for like hours. But let's let's get into the first episode so. ever <laughs> and i'm talking ever like not the ones you guys saw yeah like the first episode ever here we go <laughs> oh, man. Um, if you don't see that growth for like the three years like you're putting in more money than you're getting out or you don't like even if we're putting in more money than we're getting out but we don't see that growth in the yeah. company like we don't see like we're gaining followers we're getting more interaction keep more people we're making more sales yo i <laughs> i was the sitting there talking like i knew everything everything about yeah, business yeah, hey I, i've been doing that i've been rethinking i'm like yo is this a good idea before we spend 2k into it like yeah, you know what i mean for like, sure like i'm if we go into it i'm going <laughs> into it like i'm not gonna yeah, sure. stop i already have to <laughs> set aside i'm like yo this is for this yeah, i'm not gonna exactly. play the whole thing i think it caps out in. that's it's hilarious just gotta, we gotta know like what we want yeah and it's gonna happen a lot of mic movements a lot of just touching <laughs> the mic figuring it out yeah, like. it's, it's, so it's, this was i believe october 16 something around that yeah that time you know this was <laughs> we did a whole bunch of trial runs which is good we did a whole bunch of trials runs because you guys are never going to see this full thing <laughs> but you guys get a quick yeah. glimpse of what it really looked like this was on your phone yep just set up in a corner yep. and figuring out what it looks like so any thoughts <laughs> like, like i remember just sitting there because this was a the first time we walked into the recording the session booth. the booth um and we walked in there the first song we played i think it was like back to back by drake or yeah. something like that mm -hmm. um and i remember I, I don't know if it was this episode but we started we started recording and we forgot to turn on the mics yeah. you remember that yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we kept on talking for like 20 minutes and we're like why can't we hear anything yeah. and we realized the mics weren't even on <laughs> so yeah it was like it was a learning experience and i'm i think these were the moments that like we kind of like it was paving the path you know yeah. like getting it started because here 
we literally having like a therapy session of us, you know, I'm just like pitching business. Like I know everything and I'm like, I don't know anything about yeah. hosting a podcast or doing anything in there. So yeah, it was, it's great to look back on that, man. That's funny. <laughs> That's hilarious. So yeah, that was the first one. UMFM radio, like not even, we did a whole bunch of these, right? Yeah. And majority of them, we just delete it. Like we'd record it on their little software that they had. And mm-hmm. then we just delete it after. Cause we're like, uh, we're done talking. Yeah, <laughs> it's over. <laughs> that right? We never even saved it. Yeah. So that was that. Now this was the first podcast ever with Matt. Hey, well, welcome back to the Two Hundred Four Rise podcast, where we're documenting the rise and stardom of Winnipeg's finest. That talent. intro has always we been a solid. Lot of good yeah. Things going, but first of all, I want to say. If anybody's in chem labs, bro, that's the <laughs> thing in the world. I Yo, that's out. jokes. We got a random tripod just hey, sitting in the <laughs> front. Like, away you can't even see the guests, man. That's they, they so okay, listen to these transitions. Bro, I got some exciting news for us. What's up? Bro, I was reading the news yesterday. Yeah. Winnipeg's turning into a homicide city, bro. 40 homicides? Oh, yeah, that's <laughs> this is our first exciting. episode. We're talking about really homicide. Really <laughs> hey, that's crazy, bro. Like... There was a shooting right, right next to my area, like, oh. like a street away. I'm like over exaggerating like everything, man. <laughs> At this point, I was like, yo, the first time maybe we, we shouldn't talk about this. And watch we how we, we get out of this conversation. I that was the proper way to start the podcast off, but, but yo, I just gotta put that out there. Uh, our, our city is hey. turning into something, man. Hey, we we're here for the better, but, but uh, yeah, spread love. Speaking everybody. of shooting, man, <laughs> J Cole released his new album. <laughs> <laughs> oh, speaking of shootings, J Cole released his first <laughs> album. He's dropping it in twenty. Yo, oh, what do you oh, mean? <laughs> bro, it was, the transitions on that were <laughs> crazy. Oh, we'll, we'll have to re- review it on. Also, the, sure. the album he's talking about is the fall off, which never happened. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> here, here comes Matt. Here comes Matt. Yeah. Uh, well, uh, just before we get started here, All right, let's see it. I wanna I I wanna talk about a little something here. Uh, I'll bring on our guest here. <laughs> okay. He's a special friend of Got ours. Random chords uh, everywhere. He's one of the best lacrosse players in the country. He's a draft <laughs> top pick in the NBA 2030 draft. He's an aspiring doctor, a future filmmaker, and an overall <laughs> great dude. Please work. Please welcome Matt Carlin. Watch this intro. Watch this intro. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> How you doing, buddy? How you doing? Yo, the dabs are too nice, though. He just slides in. (laughs) Yo, I'm (laughs) crying already. What the (laughs) See, when I put this together, I didn't think I'd be crying, too. But, like, this is hilarious. (laughs) Matt, walk us through that. Walk us through that. Oh, man. Yeah, I just remembered the intro. And I was like, no, not knowing what to expect. And then I'm just getting my tires pumped. Like, just (laughs) my things that aren't even real. (laughs) You know, that's how we try to make the introductions for our guest. It was like, we know their interest. We didn't really know how to put an intro together for the guest, right? Because we barely did any research prior to, like, um, the episode. And we're like, we know he played lacrosse. We know he films. We know he's in science. Why don't we just, like, pump his tires a little bit? And, like, the best lacrosse player in the country. He's an Why NBA not? prospect. Like, you know, everything. The reason it worked is because we knew Matt. Yeah. Because right? we were like, <laughs> let's just make it absurd and crazy as possible. <laughs> and that's what we did. Uh, that was your uh, first experience, the two yeah. of our eyes. And then after that, I think you said, yeah, let's do it. <laughs> yeah, it was a great time. It was a great time. And it starts with just the atmosphere in the studio. Yeah. Awesome. yeah. First time, you know? Being in a studio. I, I can't I can't I can't believe my transition is like speaking of shootings. <laughs> Jake goes out. I'm like, what? And that's not the last time you did that either. No, mm-hmm. it, it took a lot of and also like just the structure overall. Again, this was filmed on a phone which died like ten minutes into it. <laughs> so many camera issues. We got cords, we had a tripod halfway through just sitting there. No really like idea. This was before Retech was our official like director. Yeah. So big shouts out to Retech. Any other thoughts on this first episode? No, I <laughs> I'm just laughing, but I'm crying at this point. What the heck? All right, let's move on. All right. I don't know why it does that. So then we had yeah. our then we had our meeting. Okay. Yeah. Now now we got a team. Figure out let's see. How are we gonna do this? Uh, we need a logo. So we had a meeting. So this was November. The last video clip you saw was November 19th, something around that. Yeah. We had our then UMFM radio. It was winter time, so we weren't able to record anything. And then we had our first meeting, I think, July, J- January 2nd mm-hmm. of 2020. This is where we figured out the back end. What's our logo going to look like? Well, who's yeah. running the Instagram? What's the Instagram? Should we do an Instagram? What's YouTube? Should we do YouTube? Yeah, YouTube's yeah. probably a good idea. And we figured it out. So after the meeting, you know, we had our meeting, you know, all four of us. We're like, okay, let's film some content. 
This was what we filmed. Yo, I don't even remember this. <laughs> Why is my face like that? <laughs> Yo, Matt's just pure vibing right there. Yeah, Look at him. Archie drums in too. <laughs> <laughs> I think here we were trying to do the carpool karaoke, mm -hmm. and I think that was my. I remember after a meeting, we were like, "Yep, carpool karaoke, man." Like, Go. let's do a podcast in a car. Yeah, <laughs> and I think there was a there was a point where we try to like hang a camera off of this the. Is uh, it. This yeah. is it. It's hanging off my front windshield, <laughs> <laughs> or my rear view mirror that's hanging off of there. Oh, that's. That's hilarious. Wow. Retook sitting in a passenger seat. <laughs> but people don't know this video is eight minutes long. You just saw a couple <laughs> seconds. Of us just like pure vibing, man. That's hilarious. This is after a Don's run too. Yeah, yeah, that was oh that Don was a hit different, man. So yeah, that we had our meeting. We we're like, okay, this is what we want our this is the direction we want to go. Yeah. And this is what we filmed right after. <laughs> oh, and that meeting was in U of M. U of M. Yeah. And it was in the like McCurry Electra Hall. Electra right? Hall. We just found Electra Hall. Yeah. yeah. It was nice ones. Yeah, it was empty. It was empty because it was like before school started. Yeah. We just opened the door. It just happened to be open. <laughs> so that was our like, okay, we know we got a podcast. We know we want to do something. Let's build a trailer. Yeah. I think this is where the trailer comes in as well. Oh, it's a play twice. It's a Verizon trailer. Yeah. So, so we can, cool. we can watch this and then it's the, the trailer. We've seen it before, but you know. Welcome to Focus on the camera angles, look at the people, look at the time of filming. Like how long those shots took. Just the horizon. How many days it took to film 45 seconds. Yeah. <laughs> like ideally you guys saw like the 45 minutes of this clip right here. Like look how, at <laughs> how long that took. <laughs> that that took a lot. And then especially this, and this shot right shot, here. How long? Right here. Right here. But it was so worth it. That shot is so sick. Okay. And like, talk about it. Shout out, as you can see yeah. probably on the screen, shout out to the Ordinary Film Company for helping us out a lot there. Yeah. Um, yeah. I remember our first meeting with Alex and it was, it was in this studio. We invited him out just to check out the space and everything. And man, that meeting was solid. Like instantly we showed Alex what we had planned um, and what Two of a Rise was the meaning behind Two of a Rise. And he just took it. And right from the start, he's like, oh, we could do this shot. He saw the window and he's like, yo, this is going to be such a nice shot. Mm -hmm. um, but he's like, we'll, we'll need an open studio for that. Yeah. Whereas no one's there. It's tough. It's tough. It's a UMFM radio. It's a, yeah. it's a busy place. So what we do? <laughs> <laughs> the only way we could make it work <laughs> was waking up at five o'clock in the morning. <laughs> five or six <laughs> something like that five five six we because i think call time was six yeah. we were there shooting but ideally we had to arrive at like 5 45 we picked up equipment and everything yeah yeah and wow there was it was what four days three no, two no, days two day shoot but two, day two shoot. days this was during reading week of yeah. f f 20 february 2020 and it was the two most coldest days and i'm yeah. talking like <laughs> minus 30 and uh, you weren't there for the first day, but you joined mm -hmm. the second day. But me, Retic, and Arshdeep were there for the first day. All the studio shots were done on the first day. Yep. And you no, know, huge shout out to Alex because he he really put this thing together. And he, he did. And he showed up. We we picked him up, right? Yeah. Man's had equipment. Yeah. Again, this was our first <laughs> ever experience, right? We were, bro. As we showed you the gimbal, that's our that's we're our only equipment. So we're used to. And what we're used to, we show up. Alec has lights. He has 10 different cameras. He has tripods that we don't even know the names of. He has a, like, there was so much equipment. And we were like, this is a full on production. <laughs> a <dog shit. laughs> and like, oh man, was that feeling so, I was, I felt so honored, man. I was like, what, if, this is like really happening. And it's like, yeah, just right play with right time. It yeah. worked. And just, just so many bags, which yeah. like we don't even know what's in the bags. 
<laughs> we were thinking, yo, man's gonna show up with a camera. Yeah. Maybe like a nice little holding thing. <laughs> <laughs> Full on slider. This shot, the one that you're looking at right now, like of the us facing each other. Yeah. Like, and I, I, I have to applaud like Alex, like consistency and like actually, uh, commitment to like to the shot. He's a he's a born filmmaker. That yeah. Guy. But you know he. Just how many times we just looked and stared at each other. We probably did this take, I want to say 10 to 20 times. Yeah. Like same this take. Same take. And it was also in slow motion. And yeah. <laughs> we did it in slow motion. This is sped up. <laughs> I think one thing I really respected Alex for was his <laughs> key for perfection. Mm -hmm. Like this shot, it's it didn't. It, it's perfect, right? And he didn't stop taking those shots until it was perfect. Mm -hmm. And like, I remember we we're like, yo, this is good enough, right? Like we've got the shot, we've seen it, let's do it. He's like, nah, man, trust me, it can be better. And this is what it turned out to be. So I was like, wow. You shout out to Alex and his team. Huge. Yeah. And then you draw on the second day, which was the outdoor shoot. So all the stuff yeah. you see at the forks. Any any thoughts on, or any remember, remember any of that <laughs> time? Um, I mean, that was a because that was when we were like dressed up, right? Uh, no, no, that, that was, was a, that was season two. That was season. This two. was just us. The first, remember where right, we? Right. Yeah. Okay. The other, the first time we went to the forest. First yeah. time we went to yeah. the forest. Oh, that was a freezing cold <laughs> day. Holy. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. I remember because we were we I think we drove out there in one car because it just made yeah, sense. Yeah, it was yeah, one. yeah. Um, <laughs> um, but yeah, I remember. Um, I think the shot was in the trailer, the one where we were walking out from underneath the... Uh, yep. mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that was the coldest. That, because all the wind was just... Right there. Flying <laughs> through that tunnel, and we were just trying to walk and just not make it look like we were, <laughs> <laughs> like, shivering, yeah. And, like, keep in mind, we're, we're dressed so that for the shoot, in order for, like, just, we're in the studio, right? So, like, our first day shots have to match our second day shots. Mm -hmm. We're wearing hoodies, <laughs> and they're not, like, thick hoodies. We're wearing, like, fall hoodies in minus 30-degree temperatures. The, the coldest day. I cannot emphasize how cold it was. Like, <laughs> if it wasn't windy, it, would have been, it wouldn't have been too bad. You got everything. Wind chill, freezing temperatures, everything. <laughs> it was <laughs> the coldest day. <laughs> And I remember the cameras were freezing too. Like yeah, he had his, his camera. There was some there were some issues. He also took like the shot. Yeah. The the four sh the first shot that you saw all of us for. Like he, he took he took that one. But yeah. You shot and also we gotta give a shout out to Yusuf as well. Yeah. Put his tag up. He got he got us the drone shots that you see in this video as well. And you know, it was just a hey, we need some drone shots and he was willing to deliver. So, any other thoughts? I'm, I'm it was it was a match like it just worked out. Like, honestly, the team, it on to the next one. Let's go. It was our first time doing it. I don't know if it does that. All right. So then, season one, right? Uh, at this time, we didn't really know there was a season thing. Yeah. We were just like, okay, let's just film. So, you know, we started a lot. We did a whole bunch. Like, Mike did. We had Mike come in, talk about YouTube. <laughs> we had uh, Zach. Zach come in, talk about his work. Then we had Umar with his grad, which happened to be the first, first episode. But yeah. that wasn't the first one we actually filmed. That was much more later. You know, a bunch of petitions. Just these are just thumbnails. You can go watch them if you like. But, <laughs> yeah, that... Those, that was our first episode. The majority of the stuff was filmed in that initial booth that you saw and figuring out the cameras and everything. That was a yeah. hassle. And that, that's when we had a full team, you know, uh, the four of us at least. That's that's really where we started figuring out what, first of all, what to talk about mm -hmm. with the guest and then how to set up our system where it would be like five-minute setup, five-minute takedown, and it would just work. Mm -hmm. Um and that's where that's really where the team came together. We were crowded in a smaller room than this, with barely any chairs, no heat, um, <laughs> or no air conditioning, no air yeah. conditioning, no. I don't know, man. It was. We interrupt this episode to bring you today's sponsor, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online community with thousands of classes in design, business, tech, and more. Anyone can join the millions of members in the community to learn cutting edge skills, network with peers and for new opportunities. If you'd like to support our show and are interested in Skillshare, click the first affiliate link in our description to get a 14-day free trial on us. 
It's easy, quick, and you can cancel it anytime. Now back to the episode. So then we did <laughs> we did yeah. a whole bunch of uh, podcasts. podcasts. Let's let's innovate. Let's do something different. Yeah. Comes to explore new so we react to it first. Oh no. Hopefully it doesn't. Yeah. There's a deer. This was A1 class, like, acting here, too. See the GoPro on his head. That's not a real deer, boys. That's not a real deer. Just take my bike. Make sure to leave a comment down below. Yeah. Oh, yeah. If you <laughs> if you watch that video. It's up. It's up. Go watch it. Hilarious, man. Like, I got to say, Exploring the Woods was one of our... It, it was, like, where we... One of our cringiest videos, but also like it was fun. It was, f- it was so fun. Yeah, it was fun. Mm. Like, <laughs> I remember there was a point in the video where we're going down this hill, mm. and you can see that in the um, in the video. And there was like a big branch, uh, and I know Matt remembers this. <laughs> there was Robin goes down. It was supposed to be Robin, Matt, me. Robin goes down. There's people coming. Like, imagine there's like a little hill. And then looks a little path going straight forward, right? Robin goes, moves to the side. He sees people coming. Matt's on the mid. <laughs> <laughs> Matt's in the mid of the hill. Robin's like, people, people, Matt, Matt, watch out. And then Matt, like, ducks and, like, skirt. <laughs> oh, man, my life flashed before my eyes. That was a tough one. I, I was flying down that hill. This dude was just coming flying right at me. <laughs> like a game of chicken. Yeah. I, I've never seen that. Clip that clip though. That it's it's. I don't think it made the video, but I like think so either. I think it's in the GoPro fit. If you go back enough, I th- I'm mm. sure we can find it. Okay. Yeah, I don't think there's a the footage of you actually like interacting with the human, but yeah, there yeah. is the vi- the footage of us going down that hill. You'll see it in the video if you go watch it. But yeah, we did this at uh, the Royal Wood Forest. Yeah, I've been there many times, and I was like, I think it should be cool. First yeah, time and honestly, it was. It was more like as much as you want to say a vlog, it was more of like us trying to do like set ourselves apart from other people mm-hmm. within the industry, right? We know we wanted to make some sort of content. We did that from the podcast. Yep. Now it was time to innovate. Let's let's do something different. Mm-hmm. Exploring the woods was the first thing that came to mind. Mm-hmm. It was like let's make a vlog, let's get our personalities in there. Mm-hmm. Let, and honestly, Started taking off from here. Yeah, you guys drove down. You guys put your bikes in your car. I think we got right out of the, right out of the parking lot and made a little wipeout like right away. <laughs> but I think it was like as we were trying to leave the parking. Yeah, no, as we and, were I, to and I think he was saying, "Oh, watch out, no wipeouts." <laughs> yeah, I was like, because I was I, a bike. I've been through this, and I was like, "Oh, no problem. I got this." And the first <laughs> just, thing I do is just wipe. <laughs> out. A little too confident. <laughs> but yeah, that that was a, that was a fun time. If you look back, I mean, it's I, I, we found it funny. It was like. Yeah. Trying to be funny, comedic, you know. I'm sure you know. You look back and we cringe a little, but like, yeah, it's there. It's there. It's a good one, see. and yeah, that's where it took off this one too. So now, uh, you know, so uh, UMFM went under like COVID, which we'll talk about in a bit. Yeah. But we needed a new studio, and this is the us reacting to it. Welcome back to 204 Rides, where we document the rise and stardom of Winnipeg's talent and personalities. We hope you guys are doing well, enjoying the weather. Um, we got a little new studio, boys. Yeah, yeah, we do. Yeah, <laughs> you know, it's a little different. It's a little different, but uh, it's it's got a great start. Uh, I'm liking the vibe it brings out. You know, mm-hmm. honestly, I mean, speaking of vibes, how you guys doing? <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty good. Um, <laughs> You know, yeah, really excited about the new studio. I gotta yeah, say, the quality of this shot, little, though, two two horizons. Horizons. Yeah. so yeah. nice. Yeah, we're planning on putting one right here, right in the middle, <laughs> right on top of my head, if you guys can see it. Let's <laughs> just hop right into it. There's a lot of stuff going on. <laughs> and um, that made the cut as well. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and that's up, that's episode four. <laughs> but, yeah, like, <laughs> there's so much in that video that I could explain. But, yeah, honestly, how it started was, uh, co- this was the perfect time. This was around March, mm-hmm. where... COVID hit, and it hit hard. It just shut down. Like, the U of M was shut down, so we needed to innovate. We were yeah. like, okay, let's keep going. And then... Yeah, honestly, from there, we were like, okay, how do we... Because we know we got a, we committed to an episode a week, two videos a week. Um, how do we how do we do it? How do we keep our word? And from there, I was like, hey, 
I finished making my basement. Mm -hmm. Room's available. We could use it. And that's where the idea came off. And I was like, hey, told my parents, this is, I'm using this room. It's mine from now on. And, <laughs> um, and yeah, honestly, <laughs> saved it for the studio. And that's where it came that's in. Um, you'll, you'll see a sign. I wasn't there for that one. I was busy studying. Um, this was the summer of 2020. Yeah. yeah, we'll get into that as yeah. well. But and then so you were you were there too. First time I think Retic was on camera. <coughs> yeah. <laughs> so you know he's behind the camera right now, but I'm sure that was a fun time. <laughs> this is a yeah. this is a time lapse we can talk over of us building yeah. the studio and putting the thing on. This goes on for two minutes, but we can talk about what the studio what was. What was like when you saw the studio for the first time? Like you walked in when this was complete. Yeah. Oh man. Yeah. It was so cool because <laughs> just because I just saw it yeah. as like a blank room. And then coming in and all these panels, like even the, like, especially these panels that we have in here, like, this is awesome. Yeah. yeah. It, it gives such a different feel. Mm -hmm. And like, I remember, well, we built that sign and it was the most fun we've had, like interacting <laughs> and trying to make crafts together as a, <laughs> as a team. And then next day I get a text from Rita. He's like, yo, can I, can I come to your house? And I'm like, yeah, man, for sure. Let's go. Yeah. He, he shows up with, like, four boxes of stuff. And I'm like, <laughs> yo. That, and then he's like, I got sound tiles. I got lights. <laughs> like, we're making this official. And I'm like, wow. And I remember <laughs> us putting up these tiles. And this was right before our big uh, episode. I believe it was with Maddie Thompson, this was right? Maddie Thompson, yes. Um, and, yeah, <laughs> you'll see. You'll see with, when we get into that. Yeah. But yeah, this was so fun. I remember so many, uh, what was it, sticky tacks or what are they called? Uh, command, 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 command strips. strips. Yeah, went into this. Yeah, and and it wasn't perfect, like yeah. at all. Like mm -hmm. he, we gotta give a huge shout out to Taryn and uh, Retic for doing this one mm -hmm. beautifully, yeah. because you don't see no white gaps, or yeah. at least I don't. There's so many white caps in there. <laughs> well, I mean, like, half of the tiles are or just falling off. At once, we're falling off, right? Like, right. you could see right in there. Just, uh, just weird, not even straight, like, <laughs> but... <laughs> because we were in a rush. We're we trying, we're yeah. trying, right? And so that was... We had to make it semi-professional for... <laughs> like, this was 30 minutes before our guest got a guest to up. Yeah. We should have done it more efficiently, but... You know, yeah. and then uh, you, you saw the budget go up, right? <laughs> you, got, <laughs> you get the lights, you get everything yeah. else. And, like it, and I think it was, like, perfect. It was meant to be where, like, okay, let's take that next step. Yeah, because like, we, knew, we knew we're not going back to UMFM for a while. Yeah. Be we're still with them, but, like, we can't film in their space. Yeah. COVID, right? We'll, we'll talk about COVID after as well. But so that was, like, the end of season one. Uh, the reason why that footage of the new studio is in there is because we started creating the studio before she did season one was fully done. All right. End of season one. Actually, anything you want to say? Like the initial stuff. The honestly season one was, it was stepping stones, right? Um, that's where we truly figured out how to actually talk, how to hold the conversation, how to get out from, Hey, speaking of shootings, <laughs> let's get into J Cole's album. Transitions. Right? It, transitions. Yeah. Like it was figuring out, how does a podcast work? Mm -hmm. And like, that's how it ended. We figured it out yeah. and we got into season. We two. didn't even know season one was a thing. Like, yeah. It was just like, okay, we can, we have this, all this equipment. We have all this like skills. And during this time, like we're, we're developing our editing skills. We're figuring out what works. We're figuring out how to make a title thumbnail. And so this was, uh, the culmination of, okay, that let, let's just call that beginner work. And now let's get into the real, yeah, like let's real step deal. it up. Also, one stat that I found when we when we did thing was an average podcast only lasts around seven episodes. Most people quit before seven. We stopped season one at episode seven. six. Yeah. Which was like, in my mind, I was like, yo, that's the... That's the average. That's it. Yeah. Like, we, we hit the average and we're going to stop. So I was very, I was like, yo, if we really want to do this, we got to at least hit seven. Yeah. And then once <laughs> we go, <laughs> then we're fine. And as you can tell, we're on 50 now. So, yeah. And like, I remember us having that conversation and we were like, man. We took a break. We, we took, took, a, a, we took a solid break. Yeah. And the reason we took a break was because life just got way, like, chaotic. Yeah. yeah. Like, we, we, we were hit with four exams like everyone was in school COVID um yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah and then schedules didn't align we couldn't find free time to mm -hmm. figure out how to actually run this thing yeah. and so we're like the best thing we can do right now would be to take a break recoup 
and go from there. Because most people would take a break and then not recoup. I'm yeah. glad we did yeah. recoup. <laughs> Season two trailer. Yeah. Um, this can play in the background, but just look at the production quality. It's, you can tell it's elevated, you know? And then we talk about the... Look at the shots. You can see we got a drone. Yeah, <laughs> that was one of our... You can you can also tell like the team too. The team, the team. Retake, retake, Matt, Matt, me, Archie, Taryn was in there, but you didn't make the trailer. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> uh-huh. And you can tell like there was some sort of like planning that went into this and some sort of coordination that made this trailer effective. That that video is in reverse. Yeah. <laughs> and like in this video, you can think like the clouds are moving, but they're not. This shot was filmed by Taryn. Shout Taren. out to him. Yeah. And an icon status is icon what we status. called it. And we'll get into that. So yeah, uh, yeah. season two. Matt, all right, you want to start us off? <laughs> like with the trailer? Yeah, so, so talk about trailer, how season two came about, and your, your thoughts through that. Um, yeah, uh, it was another early morning. Yep. <laughs> we, lo- we loved it. <laughs> like like we, we usually do. Mornings, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, I remember, like, taking all those shots, like, in the parking garage and stuff, and... and like, they never made it. Yeah, but... <laughs> it was a lot of stairs for Matt and uh, I was doing <laughs> a lot of stairs that day. <laughs> well, let's, go to, let's go to some behind the scenes. One of my favorite parts of all of this. <laughs> Did this spell Winnipeg wrong? <laughs> no. <laughs> Do you have an N- N- I- <laughs> Okay, maybe it's just Terrence like the lettering, cause like I thought I've always been spelling it. W I W I N N I P G E P E G E. No, no, no. P E G. Yeah. <laughs> like we had a solid argument <laughs> just about how Winnipeg was supposed to be spelled. <laughs> Get off of my! I'm in make. I'm recording. Oh, you were? This guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like. But the thing is, he was trying to get shots in there. Like, Taryn's trying to help us out get shots of the sign. And I'm like, yo, get out of the okay. shot. Yeah. I was going to yeah, That's that. hilarious, man. Like, me oh, and Ma- right Matt right. sat there. We were like, <laughs> we're like, man, I swear Winnipeg spelled wrong. You said the yeah, yeah. spelled yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was Matt, Matt was pretty sure it was spelled right. <laughs> I was like, man, W-I-N-N-I-P-E-G. But then for some reason, I was like standing there and looking at this sign. And I just, I was like, nah, man, that's not spelled right. You're overthinking it. <laughs> I think it was, I, I think it was a six six a.m. call time that got, <laughs> like that got to me. Probably. Yep. And and these were the majority of our season two trailer really like took off like our TikTok yeah. semi success as well. Like this video went semi, not semi, but we got like 10k views or something like that. Right. Yeah. Maybe a little more. Maybe and a whole more. bunch of our drone shots did very well on TikTok as well. So this was like kind of the start of that. Better. Yeah. Yeah. So, so now. Let's get into like season two, like the actual episodes, the one, two, three, and all the episodes that came after season two. And here's some dangerous kicks. And like this was one of our, this was one of our first collabs with mm-hmm. like a talent in the city. Like from, well, I mean, everyone else was a talent, but like someone who was like creative and use like art. Yeah, this was our first one. And it was also the first time you can see there's no there's no tiles on the studio. Yeah. This was before the tiles, but this was in the new studio first set up. Uh we filmed like three hours of footage. Yeah. Which you know, on like two, three different cameras which got condensed down into three minutes. minutes. Which w- from an editing standpoint for me was a pain. But it was the first it was the first one that I was like it was the first like major project I was like, okay, let's do it. Yeah. And it and, and it turned it, out. It's fun. All right. And then Many times to vlog. Yeah, this was a classic. These one. are just bloopers in a bag. <laughs> That's me trying to be a TikToker. <laughs> me trying to do the WAP there. Yeah. <laughs> Of course it was. Maybe we should invest in a router. That's <laughs> jokes. You can see the tiles uh, falling off. These are. <laughs> are you kidding me, man? <laughs> <laughs> and this was a point where like the tiles were okay, starting to fall off, and I would get duct tape, and I would start taping it. Again, we filmed. 
probably like an hour yeah. to two hours or something <laughs> like and like shout out for maddie for actually like <laughs> sitting through this and like us setting up well <laughs> see this was the first time we <laughs> met maddie yeah cheap. the first time oh my gosh yes a good great I just, like again this is the first time maddie we were introduced to maddie we yep. reached out to her a dm and she was she was willing to come on and this was our first impression to maddie <laughs> which was fun it was good i think she had a good time and we also did as well but yep that's a vlog that that, that was a talk. vlog it was supposed to be we we became tiktokers for a day good idea i thought i thought and it was yeah, it's the, one sorry. of our well well performing videos as well so yeah it was solid man like everything in that video from producing to editing to ex executing yeah. executing it, it worked. was it, it worked uh, you put your head in a saw yeah <laughs> you did a lot of fun stuff that day <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's why i like the vlogs too because it's like we get to Chill. do yeah. things other than sit here sit and talk, and talk. <laughs> yeah. Just fun. yeah all right move on to trish so yeah this was and now you can see the studios built yeah, right even better they even better. i think our steep and retook took it took the original stuff down from the last one and then actually put it in place and there was very little um thing so we did a whole bunch of stuff with trish we did her decipher she did a couple of breakdowns and we did a performance which actually never made it yeah uh just because i'll talk about the editing after we watch this video but i did a little freestyle which i think the 50th episode is a good it's not a freestyle i wrote it down but it's yeah. a it's a verse it's, it's a verse. worthy 50th episode is worthy of this flame yeah of so these flames le let me know what you think if i should continue my rap career or not was amazing by robin man Let's oh my go, god robin. appreciate that yeah so we did we did the it, it never made the cut because we just didn't know where to put it but i thought i thought this would be a good sound though yeah but and this was this was our first artist we've had in terms of music mm -hmm. that we've had on the podcast and full and like, studio full studio full studio tiles were up everything lines. worked perfect yep uh hey you we got another sponsor if you've ever considered building a website, you've probably definitely heard of Squarespace. Squarespace is a website designer that allows you to create your website from scratch and using a wide range of templates to fit your needs. Whether you're creating a portfolio, small business, e-commerce, Squarespace got it all. Check out the affiliate link in our description and start building your website today. You'll be helping out the show as well as creating a killer website to impress your peers. Now back to the episode. I think we should. And we're back. Maybe like. <laughs> <laughs> we took a little... Hope you enjoyed that advertisement. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> COVID. It hit. That was our first. Uh, that, was, <laughs> that was the first and last episode we filmed in our steeps. Um, base. Basement. Basement. Yeah. yeah, that was our studio. And then COVID hit. Again. We're done. <laughs> Did we take a break here? No, we didn't take a break. We didn't take a break, but COVID we hit. had to We had to transition from studio to something else. Mm-hmm did audio only yeah uh, we just this was around the time we also got on spotify as well or actually it was before but spotify became spotify and apple podcast google podcast became our and main way. fm radio station yeah, yeah, yeah became our main way of getting stuff out yeah yeah this was around october and that's why if you look at like 50th episode although we did start like much earlier in like 2019 our first episode on like spotify came out around october which is why the 50th or the 52th, ep 52nd, sorry. 52th. 52th. <laughs> 50, the 52nd episode will be around. And so 
good time. It, uh, shout out to Jared for walking us through that as well. Yeah. Um, okay, we'll get back to that. But yeah, but yeah, that was, that was, and cool. one thing like we learned throughout this whole period of COVID, non-COVID, COVID restrictions was adaptation. Mm. I think as a team, we that was one of our most defining things was we were willing to adapt, change, and move on. We always one thing was this: yeah, we did take breaks, but we got we came back, came back even stronger, mm-hmm. and we kept on pushing kept on rising we made it to 50 like that like that like that <laughs> clip that baby clip that <laughs> clip that <laughs> so we got a, we got a podcast and then we wanted something to like promote right this yeah. is like we've been promoting uh like the youtube stuff and we needed hey we're exclusively on spotify and uh Apple podcast for the covid reason and then we had this video and again shout out to ordinary film company alex's school squad we talk about that but this was filmed before but this footage was used yeah. for the radio so we can watch this real quick but you know the idea Yo, guys, <laughs> yeah again like alex killed it killed with it. the shots um and like obviously you got to see it on Instagram now. But yeah. Um, and then in the Instagram, if you look at it, you'll see two of her eyes right. passing by the. Uh, so one one thing that didn't make the in the Instagram little trailer was this running sequence, yep. which I think we should react to. <laughs> Everyone's just hardcore <laughs> up in this. This is one of probably the funniest parts of this trailer. Right here. <laughs> 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 oh, man, that's hilarious. To yeah. That's where it started, man. Like, oh. and then obviously there's so much more to this, but yeah, yeah that was our little intro sequence. Yeah, the running sequence was exhausting. Yep. <laughs> like, again, because Alex is a perfectionist and he knows like what he's looking for. That running sequence was probably done 10 to 15 times. Yep. And uh, then like, I was surprised because, like, every time you guys are jumping, right? Like, yeah. you guys are doing parkour. I'm just, like, I'm going up the ramp, right? Because I had that big, I had a big stereo on my arm, yeah, right? Yeah, I was running around with the stereo. <laughs> so, I'm <laughs> like, there's no way I'm running, carrying this and doing parkour. Like, I mean, it would have been good for the bloopers, but. Yep. Yeah. And, <laughs> and it, the, the, go ahead. Um, I just remember you being like thinking that the boom boss is just like a fake prop and you're just like throwing it around. And I was like, man, this dude's like, <laughs> why with this, this is stereo this speaker. Is stereo. And then it ended up breaking and we were like, oh, <laughs> oh <no. laughs> what do we do? I think, I think I told like Alex I would pay for it and he's like, nah, man, it was, it was, I think it was it's not, it doesn't even work as a prop that I use. Okay. So like we fixed it up. No, I'm fine. Um, um, yeah, <laughs> Alex brought his whole team though. This yeah. was before in the trailer we just worked with Alex, but this time we brought his whole team. And man, like we thought one was cool, and then they had a behind the scenes guy, they had a photos guy, they had uh, they a had... mic boom, a boom guy. Yeah. You yeah. know, you see in the movies yeah, yeah. like the personal. We held the boom. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we held the boom. Man, that, that and that too was one of the most exhausting things ever. Yeah. So long, took forever, man. Because like we were, and you guys never got to experience, like you never got to see the interviews. But this whole, yeah, th- it's it's coming up. It's but coming. like, yeah, this this whole thing was designed for to introduce ourselves, introduce the team. Yeah, let's get oh. into my favorite. Yeah, my favorite. This was San Vito. I th- yeah, this was our favorite. So these are just the blue fairies. You can go watch it at the end of the video. Watch. Two more is close by. Why are you wearing runners? Dog. I thought you were going to be blue. I was in my running shoes. I thought you were going to be blue. Man, I saw the snow. I was like, I'm going to go for a run today. <laughs> This was one of my favorite bloopers. <laughs> I'm so sorry for scaring you there, man. <laughs> I remember this this specific sequence. It was us chilling in the car and like we're all in a four-way conference call. <laughs> we it was the video's done. We're going to deliver the coffees now. Um, 
and we obviously we were hungry we didn't eat anything it was like another 6 a.m call time um <laughs> we're sitting in there eating our breakfast <laughs> and then robin goes <laughs> Not because they sponsored our video, but this cookie is amazing. <laughs> it was a good cookie. Shout out San Vito, uh, Jordy Wilson, like great. <laughs> we watched yeah, and, like, <laughs> <laughs> and again, it had to be in the winter and on like the uh, not the coldest day, but one of the most heaviest snow days. Snow day. Possible. We picked the worst days to do anything. Like <laughs> it's horrible. <laughs> okay. Well, <laughs> yeah, this was also you know. funny. Yeah. So. <laughs> San Vito, thoughts? Yeah, no, it was, a, it was a really fun day. Um, yeah, the snow definitely made it interesting. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, cause, yeah, we got the uh, <laughs> uh, Arsh taking the snowblower down my buddy's driveway. <laughs> and, uh, oh, man. Umar, was that Umar, Umar with the, the, <laughs> Umar with the <laughs> leaf, leaf blower? blower. <laughs> Just an <laughs> overall fun day. Uh, the video does justice to this fully. Yeah. Like, like, there is so much that went in behind the scenes, too. Like, first yeah. of all, like, Huge okay. shout out, huge shout out to San Vito for being like our first ever spot, like, like, sp- like just collaborate, like second ever collaboration, but like first ever, like being open about open it. it. Just yeah. being like, we, we sent, we sent so many people a email cause we want to do something. It's COVID especially. Yeah. And we had to, we had to hit up um, Andrew Smith as well to ask him, how can we properly deliver these coffees? Make sure it's COVID friendly. Cause this was peak, like, you know, December. Mm-hmm. And so you know, he gave us guidance, and this was a good way to be like, hey, we're giving back, and we'll listen to that. But San Vito, fun time. I, I, I personally, time. I think execution-wise, one of our best one of yep. our best piece of work. It's up. Mm-hmm. Go watch it. It's also one of our top viewed videos as well. This was, this was <laughs> something else. <laughs> <laughs> this was something else. So, you know, it, this was 2021. Yep. Let's figure out what we can do. Um, pandemic still going on. Let's try to make it fun. We did run through the park. Here's a... Yeah, like we and surprisingly, like man, we we actually did very well. Like, this is just and oh, don't forget <laughs> this. After this content, we made it onto Winnipeg Wild. And I have it here. Yeah, I have yeah. That here. So yeah, just to you know, go watch the video. It's fun. It was an, an enjoyable time. The concept I think was cool as well. We just got a cool. little exercise, man. That was that was the most important part too. Cool. And and this was like everyone loved it. Yeah, you know, we were we were. I was somewhat hesitant, like. People are gonna think we're like weird or like yeah. what are these guys doing? But putting on that outfit and running through at the same hotel park, especially when there's so many kids, <laughs> they loved it. It was it was genuinely a great feeling. And you know, like our sheep said, we made it onto Winnipeg Wilding, which there's a video, and this is the original TikTok. Only in Winnipeg. <laughs> same hotel park. Jeez. And and yeah, as you could probably tell. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> I recorded I recorded that video. <laughs> it wasn't anyone else. Nope. It was me. <laughs> and we thought about it. This was I think by far our best marketing play that we've yep. done ever. I was like cuz yeah. we walked past someone and somebody actually said only in Winnipeg. Yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah. But it wasn't on camera. So I was like, yo, Arshton, go sit on that bench and pretend you're someone else. <laughs> and go say exactly. It just happened to be that some guy was like running, the, running in front. And yeah, then it we, was <laughs> me. But also, here's our reaction to um, getting on Winnipeg Wilding. Wait, isn't that? Nope. Same with Top Park today. Yeah, no, it was pretty good. Uh, <laughs> little, like, still uh, riding the high from being on Winnipeg Wilding. Yeah, we woke, we woke up to. Being on Winnipeg Wilden, which was pretty cool. And I think they have, what, 5K? Uh, no. 11.3. 11.3. Yeah, Damn, I'm even morning. more surprised now. <laughs> 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 the reason this feels somewhat scripted is because we did this before. <laughs> <laughs> and then Mike falls. Uh, welcome yep. back to the Tool for Eyes podcast, where we document the rise starting with Winnipeg oh talent. But yeah, yeah, I'm sitting on the, the I'm sitting on the thing. <laughs> I'm sitting on a costume. But this is when we did outdoor park. Outdoor park. Yeah. So, anyway. Whatever. I mean, like. We did that uh, after the running video as well, and then there's a whole podcast out that that kind of went mm-hmm. v- semi viral on TikTok as well. Yeah. People were like, "Yo, it's minus thirty degrees outside. Why are you sitting by a campfire <laughs> and having a podcast?" But we we made it happen. Like, mm-hmm. it comes back to the idea of like, "Yo, make it work." Like you know, mm-hmm. yeah. After that, uh, yeah. Zoom, Zoom was our <laughs> Zoom was our best friend. Yep. we did a whole bunch. Of, I'm just gonna run through these real quick. Give shout outs to everyone. But we, if anyone sticks out, feel free to 
talk about it. You know, dark side of TikTok with Noel Kendall, yeah. um, Cheryl. Uh, this who, was who started the, off. Yeah, like Cheryl's um, activism and how to make a difference in terms of uh, veganism was one of the most interesting podcasts and one of the biggest learning like thought provoking thought yeah. thought provoking mm-hmm. ones for me at least like mm-hmm. i learned a lot from that episode yeah um, um journey of sandman with another artist sandman tyler car tyler car 106 tyler. yeah that like was this crazy. was this was yeah we made it to winnipeg wilding but then we got to collaborate with energy 106 like winnipeg's arguably number one hit radio station mm-hmm. 106 any thoughts and that like big. that was that was that was a good one that was a good yeah. one and like to get the number like one of the highest like yeah host like tyler carr man you got <laughs> like you know he's he's well known within the city yeah so yeah it was like it was a big moment for us and like i enjoyed I it. i think the one thing mm-hmm. i learned especially from that episode is when we asked them um are you guys not the number one po- uh number one radio station because you always hear that before mm-hmm. and i think his answer was brilliant and also not really the answer i was looking for but brilliant in the fact that he said we're number one if you're listening to us. Yep. And I think we're going to adopt that mindset as well. We are the number one podcast in Winnipeg if you're listening to us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know? <laughs> so, yeah. yeah uh, we shout out to them. We got some more here. Uh, uh, these are some of the boys only. So we did a lot of guests as well, but when we couldn't find guests, we did boys only, which I think are right, for us. just chill. Like we, yeah. just, we don't need to prepare mm-hmm. anything or we do prepare like very little and we just go off the top of our head. So giving advice to our 10-year-old selves is one. Why you should procrastinate. Yeah. Um, do you ever question reality? That's like our high thoughts one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, th- that was that was one of the funniest ones we did. Like we, it was just random questions and like just going at it, going at it. Um, Michael and Dennis yeah. from MD Media. You know, this, this. I think that was inspirational for me at least yep. because first five minutes, you just, the audio may not be the best, but <laughs> it <laughs> the, the message was cool. The, the message, message was cool. there. Uh, let's see, cryptocurrency. Yeah, this uh, was really cool one. This was one of our. This was cool too. It, for me, like being that like geeky, like technology, like wise, mm-hmm. so came in there. Yeah, we we lit talked, it up. We talked a whole bunch about crypto and our boys only stuff, but we wanted an expert, so we hit up Kevin McCarthy, and surprisingly, this never like it's in the audio, but I don't think we published this anywhere. Uh, he gave us ten dollars of Litecoin, which I still have to this day, yep. and because he was just promoting getting into crypto, and mm-hmm. I think that was first time like our guest was like here just take it so yeah cool time uh habiba mahmoud yeah. with her um her, her, uh, her beauty bar and beauty all bar the computer science. computer science stuff and like shaquille lawrence yeah, uh, jaspi nams jaspi nams came in yeah just a huge like you know uh behind the music industry reed halson yeah. what oh, takes better you timmy batamosi Yep. Uh, Shahir Mansour, sure. like there's so many people. Like, how does manifestation work? Educate, dedicate, you know, create. I, I, I honestly, for me, like, educate, dedicate, create mm-hmm. was one of the most like hitting, hitting ones that like like got me thinking. I was like, yo, we actually said that, yeah. and like, yo, shout out <laughs> to Logan Paul for like helping us out there. But like, yeah, <laughs> it was a good one. And, and then, then our recent one would do. You, do you have the dog mentality? Just talking about. <gasps> <laughs> being the dog i think that these ones especially we learned how to talk yeah i think these were really good in the terms of like let's figure out how to have a conversation with someone yeah because we went from 25 minutes to you can see 48 51 yeah, averaging were. at least 30 minutes per episode mm-hmm. and like no awkward pauses there's, there's no, no there's no, no random transition yeah. no yeah. Random transition <laughs> <laughs> like actually genuinely just talking yeah and like before, yeah. I, and I think the reason for that was because we had semi script in season one, right? Mm. We were like, okay, this is what we're going to talk about. But then we were like, man, we can literally just talk to these people. Like it's a normal conversation. No more conversation. And I think that's where we we found our flow. Mm-hmm. That's where it took off. And now we're here. Big fitty. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> we um, made it. We made it. We're here. I. I don't know what to say. Like, yeah. we're here. It's 50. We always thought, like, hey, 50 is a big number. And especially mm-hmm. when you're going. Going places. You're going, you're going every, like, every week. Uh, it's only the start. We're not stopping. Season three literally starts next week. So, <laughs> <laughs> like, it's <laughs> yeah. next Tuesday. So, yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's a sweet moment, like, to see that 
we've worked so hard to get to some certain milestone and we've reached it. Little, little, cool. little pat on the back for ourselves, you know? Final thoughts, Matt? 50. Yeah, just excited. Excited for number 50 to come out and excited for season three in the future. So it's gonna be yeah, good. I think we've come a long way. There's still a long road ahead, yeah. so stay tuned. And I think this is the perfect way to end off the podcast. So thank you so much for tuning in um, on YouTube, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, and all the th- streaming platforms. Um, if you haven't already, make sure to check us out on all social media platforms. Uh, we're live on the UMFM radio station on 101.5 FM every Tuesday morning at 11.30 a.m. Until next time, peace. Woo! Yeah, I'd love to say we're at 204 subscribers. We're yeah. not even there yet. Nope. We're not even at 204, so oh, subscribe. Please. Please. Now, if, you're, if you made it to this far in the video, like, might as well. Might as well. Get us there, you know what I mean? Like, what is this? Let's see what's about to happen next. Okay? Okay? Let's see what's about to happen next.